This is the Rumor Report Talk to with Angela Yee on The Breakfast Club. So Lifetime is gearing up to do this R. Kelly documentary series. Now it's going to talk about the families directly affected by R. Kelly's alleged sex cult. Uh, R. Kelly doesn't seem like he's losing any sleep over this, okay, because he feels like he already has so many fans. Here's what he said uh, in a video that someone recorded. I am handcuffed like a lot of you motherfuckers. I'm handcuffed by my destiny. It's too late. They should have did this 30 years ago. It's too late. The music has been injected into the world. Yeah, but he acted like like karma's not catching up to his ass and like he's not losing money. Like, come on, R. Kelly. You've been losing a lot of money over the past few years. A lot of shows have been right? canceled. Sure. You it. can not be what you could have been. You can smile and look like you you little laughing to keep from crying, but we know you're really crying on the inside. Knock it off. All right. In addition to this documentary series, they're also going to be doing, uh, I guess, one of those Lifetime movies. They have one of those in the works about R. Kelly also. Now, he's also being sued for sexual assault by a woman who claims that he held her against her will. Her name is Faith Rogers. She says they met in March of 2017. She was 19 years old at the time. And she said a couple of months later, he flew her to New York City for one of his concerts. And that's when he bombarded her hotel room, initiated unwanted sexual contact, which included oral and vaginal intercourse. And she said the sex was abusive and he criticized her for being boring in bed. She said they dated for about one year, during which he mentally, verbally and sexually abused her and also gave her herpes. If you recall, there was a phone conversation that someone taped with R. Kelly and this was Faith who actually taped that call. Here's a piece of that. Do you think like this is all my fault? I mean, I don't feel like I acted crazy. I feel like I just had a moment like with you and you just no, told you me to me out. See, I, this is not what I was looking for. I was looking for you to be humble and say, hey, it's not messed up. I was thinking wrong. I was thinking crazy. You know, and I did play you like, I don't blame you for acting like that. You being who you are. I'm not going, I'm not talking about this no more because I don't, like I say, when you want to talk to me, come and talk to me. He said he doesn't talk on the phone. That's very interesting that he said the music is already injected in people, too, because I'm one of those people, when I hear R. Kelly records now, it just don't feel the same. Energy is important to me. Mm -hmm. All right, and congratulations to DJ Envy and his family. They have a docu-comedy coming to Bravo. They have put eight new series into development at Bravo, and one of them is going to be called Gold with Envy. That's with DJ Envy and his family. You yeah. got to tell them stop calling it a docu-comedy. Yeah, it's, it's not a docu-comedy. It's, it's a, a family reality show. It's based on our family and, and our five kids, and, and it's everything that goes on in our house and, and everything that we're dealing with, with society, with this world, putting a, a teenager through high school, going to college, and raising a one-year-old. It's just our family. A lot of that you hear on the podcast is just real life, real. We're excited about it. It's positive. It's all about... A family that's going through everything. The trials, tribulations, good, po- bad, everything. It's, yeah, it's, it's, it says here the couple works to keep up the street cred that has made them a household name. Well, you what? Know that, you know that wasn't written by <laughs> yeah, so, yeah, some white people wrote that. <laughs> yeah, that <laughs> right. When it comes to docu-comedy, though, it's, it's creating the expectation that you're going to be on there trying to make people laugh. And uh, then that's when people won't laugh. Yeah, no. Nah, I so mean, take away docu-comedy. Yeah, that's definitely not what we're trying to do. It's, it's we're trying to put positivity out there and show people that you can have a family. It's gonna it's, it's gonna be a lot of hard work. It's going to be great. So um, we're excited about it. We're excited to put the positivity out there and our kids and everybody's out there. You're going to get an inside life of, of what you don't see because I show a lot of my life as well. But it's going to be a lot of things that you don't see. So it should be a lot of fun. All right. Well, I'm Angela Yee and that is your rumor report. Hey, 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 hey. The Breakfast Club. Every weekday morning. Tune in.